Hi there, I'm Perfecto De Castro and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is made possible by the generous support of DiMaggio Pickups, Kurt Mangan Strings, Groove Gear, Amp Tweaker Pedals, and Mike Sis Guitar Spot. And we are shooting here at the awesome studios of Anzac Modern Music Productions located in BF Homes, Paranaque. Okay, we're here with uh, Mike Sison of Mike Sis Guitar Spot, guitar player, guitar builder, luthier extraordinaire, based in Paranaque City, Philippines. Mike, hi. Hello. Got, uh, I'm glad you took time out from your busy schedule. I know you have uh, a lot of work that's uh, that needs to be done. So I, I really appreciate you uh, coming over and, and Thank sitting, you. sitting yes. with us. Yeah. Okay, so uh, tell me a little bit of, uh, about how you got started in the business. I got back into my guitar interest uh, late 90s, 98, mm -hmm. and then uh, I accumulated quite a number of guitars uh, upon uh, my passion for it. Mm -hmm. So there was a need that I have to fix my own guitars, <laughs> Okay. otherwise I'll be spending a lot bringing it over to Luthiers. Uh -huh. I tinkered on them destroyed a few, <laughs> fixed them, and then soon friends come over for repairs, for uh -huh. setup, and then friends of friends, okay. <laughs> friends of friends, and then so... So it's a snowball. Yeah, I had an idea, why not make a career out of this? Uh -huh. Well, I can do what I like and then earn some on the side. Uh -huh. Five years ago, I formally put up the shop uh -huh. in our present address. Yeah. In, uh, where, where is that? It's in Green Heights Village, Paranaque. Okay. And then so far it's been it's been doing good. Good. What, what were you doing f before all this? Well, I was sort of a... I was an IT person before. Okay. I sold software. I sold hardware. Uh -huh. And then I went into data encoding for, uh, for around seven years. And then I went back into my original passion of uh -huh. uh, playing the guitar. Okay. Well, I didn't really get good in playing my instrument, but uh, somehow I was led into on the technical side, uh -huh. fixing, building, okay. and then that's it. So now I'm here. <laughs> good, good. When, was the, when did you build your first guitar, like from scratch? From scratch, that would be uh, maybe five years ago. Okay, and what style was it? A tele style. A tele style. Uh, I've always been fascinated with the tele being a very basic instrument, uh -huh. sort of a working man's guitar. Okay. I built four initially, uh -huh. and then uh, out of the four, only one is left. People bought the three. I, okay. I kept one for myself, at least to to have something that uh, this was the first uh, build. Yeah, uh, like a benchmark landmark. Yes. And then... From that time on, maybe we to this date we've built around twenty plus tellies, uh -huh. maybe a few strats, uh, uh, a few basses also. Okay. And then one of these is your, <laughs> is your guitar right there. Okay. Yeah, this one. Now, what's your philosophy uh, in building and and uh, tinkering with guitars? Firstly, uh, I want the guitar to be functional. Okay. I mean, people come in for cosmetic purposes also, to, yeah. be, to beautify the guitar, make it shiny and clean. But the first thing that I tell them, will that contribute to the sound, uh -huh. to the way it's played, if it's, uh, it will improve the playability. And then from there, of course, after making it good playability-wise, then we go into the cosmetics. I mean, okay. At least you want your guitar to look good. Yeah, yeah. Not only feel good, but sound good and look good. What comes first? Sound, playability, looks, or looks? If it sounds good but it's hard to play, then it will be... It will not be uh, a perfect guitar. Yeah. But, uh, of course, you always want it to look good. No? Yeah. So, I think the three factors are... Uh, hand-in-hand hand to build, uh, to make a real good guitar. 
how long is your wait time right now? If somebody would walk in and wanted to commission a guitar, how, how long mm -hmm. is your wait time? A simple build, uh, a Telecaster build, would take at least two months. Okay. Uh, eight to ten weeks is a safe, uh, safe period to build yeah. one. Okay. That's uh, considering our daily load also, uh -huh. because we are still primarily a guitar repair shop. Okay. And then we build guitars on the side uh -huh. upon like uh, requests or commissions. So right now it's a, like more of a custom shop. Yes. Yeah, okay. What are your full range of services as far as you know well, the, the repair shop mm -hmm. uh, go? From basic setup, we can go to uh, fret jobs, uh -huh. refret, fret dressing, uh -huh. electronic upgrades, uh -huh. change pickups, the parts, the uh -huh. pots, hardware upgrade, changing the tuners, the bridge, the bridge, and uh -huh. the full repaint job. Okay, I'm proud to say we we offer one of the best paint jobs locally. My customers can attest to that. Okay. And then like how about major repairs like cracks? Yeah. Or? Broken necks. It's very it's a very common thing we do broken <laughs> necks. Unfortunately. <laughs> broken necks, uh twist twisted necks, uh, -huh. uh broken bodies mm -hmm. and uh like uh, password replacements. Oh okay. And then how about uh, like the types of guitars? You, you accept all types of guitars? We accept all. Uh, from the most basic to the most complex. Uh -huh. From the most expensive to the real uh, entry level guitars. Okay. We, don't, we don't really choose uh, what we do. And then acoustic, electric, Yes, classical. acoustic, electrics, basses, we fix upright basses. Oh, okay. Cellos, violins. Although we don't play them, but we can fix them yeah. basically. Okay. Good, good, good. So, what were the challenges that you uh, encountered while building this guitar? Well, uh, the challenge, first challenge was how to make the grains pop out. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, these things. Yeah.